with the Los Angeles Times. I'm Lindsay Theory. This is Gary Klein. We're on the campus of USC to preview the Trojans Saturday matchup against Idaho. And Gary, it's the second week in a row. USC plays a Sun Belt Conference opponent. They downed Arkansas State 55 to 6 a week ago. This week, that score could be a little more lopsided. I think it's going to be even more lopsided. USC goes into this game as a 43-point favorite, and I don't think there's any question they're capable of beating Idaho by that much. They turned up the offense a little bit last week, needed to you know, get, some th get the kinks out. I think it's going to be even worse for Idaho this week. On the offensive side of the ball for USC this week, we should probably look for Cody Kessler to make a few more deep connections than he did last week overthrowing a couple of receivers. The offensive line should fix a few problems that had Cody Kessler sacked five times, and then tailback Justin Davis will likely make his return. Those first game kinks, if you will, I think they've worked them out, and, and a lot was made of Kessler's overthrows, uh, specifically you know Juju Smith and some of the other receivers, but I, I think that was more of a first game issue. I don't think that's gonna be something we're gonna see quite as obviously here in the second game. Uh, they worked with Kessler throughout the week on his footwork, ostensibly to improve his accuracy uh, again. Considering the opponent, considering what USC should be able to do on offense, I expect them to be much sharper. And the offensive line allowing him to get attacked five times. Of course, it was said that a couple of those were perhaps Cody holding onto the ball too long. Again, a first game. You know, and I think Arkansas State did present some issues for USC that Idaho is not going to be able to replicate. So uh, I would guess that offensive line is the communication is going to be better. Uh, Kessler has been schooled on getting rid of the ball. I think we're going to see a much, I guess I can't emphasize this enough, I think they're going to be much sharper on offense. On defense, last week you really needed a roster to be able to tell who was in. There were so many rotations, so many new players, especially at the linebacker position. As they go forward this week, I think it's really just going to be them kind of shoring up that rotation and finding out which freshman will be ready for Pac-12 play. This is another game where they're going to have the luxury of playing as many people as they want to, especially if it gets lopsided in the second half. Uh, guys like Osa Messina, Porter Gustin, uh, Cam Smith, three true freshmen who played uh, last week, and Smith will probably start again. Messina returned the ball for a touchdown, and I think we'll see a much more physical Gustin. Those are just some of the guys that they're going to be able to get into the game. 13 freshmen played last week. Steve Sarkeesian said it was 23 guys who made their first game appearance overall. Be sure to keep it on the Los Angeles Times for all the latest on the Trojans. As I mentioned, USC kicks off Saturday against Idaho at 5 o'clock. With Gary Klein, I'm Lindsay Theory for the Los Angeles Times.